Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagaver Backpacking. A couple of weeks ago, I put out a post asking what people's favorite foods were from the different companies out there. And overwhelmingly, the number one brand and food choice was the Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. Now, anyone who's watched this channel that knows me knows that I'm not a huge fan of the Mountain House stuff. Now, I will say that of all of their meals that I've had, uh, beef stroganoff was one that my son, Justin, used to like a lot. And so I used to get it and split it with him, and it was okay. It was decent. It was something I could, I could stand to eat. Unlike, you know, I know a lot of people like the Chili Mac. I can't, it tastes like, it tastes like styrofoam to me or, or cardboard. It just doesn't taste good. But today, I wanted to... Uh, do a little taste test and really pair it up against two other brands that I like that also have beef stroganoffs. You know, if if it was something like a pasta marinara and there were six other brands that had pasta marinara brands that I like, we'd be doing that. But today what we're gonna do is Mountain House versus Peak Refuel versus Outdoor Pantry. All of them have beef stroganoffs. So I'm gonna do up half batches of each one and get those going. So I'm gonna get them going and we'll come back and talk about the uh, calories, content of the food, kind of what's in the ingredient list. And just talk about what's the best choice, regardless of which one tastes better, which is the best choice. I've added the boiling water to each of these. So now it's just waiting the amount of time. Uh, so. This one is nine minutes, this one is 10 minutes, and this one is eight minutes. So all about the same amount of time to reconstitute, to rehydrate. Uh, now they all do have like stir them midway through, so we'll do that. But first, I wanna talk about just kind of what's in each one and the numbers on them. So let's talk about calories. So if we're talking about the half serving that I'm doing, it's 290 calories. For the full bag, it's 580. Uh, if we look at carbs, 34 grams of carbs for the half and 68 for the full, 11 grams of protein for half and 22 for full. Um, so 580 for this entire, cal entire packet isn't that much. You know, if we're talking 290 for a half serve or for one serving, because this is two servings, 290 calories is not a lot. And so it's one of those where you're probably gonna need to eat the entire bag. And so really what they're calling a two person, two serving bag is really a one serving. All right, let's look at the peak refuel. So this one is 400 calories for half and 810 for the full. So 230 calories more for the full than the mountain house. Uh, and with that, you get 50 grams of carbs to the 68. So there's more carbs in the Mountain House. Uh, protein, it's 41 grams and 20 grams. So 41 is almost double the 22 grams that you get in here. So there's probably a lot more true meat in this one. Uh, 41 grams, 810 calories uh, for the protein. Now for the outdoor pantry, uh, so it's one serving like this. I still split it up and went with a half serving just because this is a lot of food for me to eat. So I figured I, I'd split it up and save, save half of a serving for, I don't know, a, a lunch at some point down the, down the road on the trail. Okay, so this has 648 calories, which is quite a bit for the size of this. So I would say the full serving of this, but let's look. So we're talking about a five ounce, five ounces of, uh, of stuff in here, 4.3 in there, and three ounces in here. So lighter weight packet, you're gonna get 685 calories, which is more than this entire thing. Uh, carbs, you're getting 39 grams of carbs, so lower than than both of these as far as carbs go but when you get to protein 
47 grams of carbs. So, or 47 grams of protein in here. So you're carrying three ounces as opposed to five ounces or 4.3 ounces. Just, just three ounces and you're getting 648 calories and 47 grams of carbs. That's quite a bit. All right, well, I'm gonna give them a stir and I'll come back when they're ready. All right, so we should have given it enough time at this point that we can pour this out, take a look at what it looks like and actually eat it. So I'm gonna give it a good stir real quick. And this one definitely, definitely thickened up. I was worried about the amount of water. Anytime you split something, I tried really hard. I, I put it in a bowl and then I picked out like big chunks for both bags and, and made sure that the amount of powder that was left got split between both bags. So it should be a good representation on all of these of what the meal actually will taste like. So I'm gonna get this on the plate and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so right off, it looks like, uh, I mean, it doesn't look super appetizing, but it looks like a meal. I mean, it looks like it's well put together. You can see there's definitely some um, beef pieces. It looks like a mushroom right there, and then a lot of noodles. So it's high in carbs. It's got a lot of noodles. Uh, it's got a sauce that's pretty consistent all the way through there, and it's thickened up with it. So. Let's give it a try. The noodles are nice. They're not super soggy. They're not stiff. The noodles are really nice. The meat, even though it was in there, the full amount of time. I think I went probably two or three minutes over now that I've been talking, if not more. Um, the meat still has like a styrofoamy texture to it. It's not, it's not great. The meat's not great. Flavor wise, it's pretty good. You know, it's, it's not bad. It's better. Honestly, it is quite a bit better than what I was expecting. I would eat this on the trail. I would definitely eat this on the trail. Let's move on to peak refuel. This one also thickened up, but immediately when you open it, so it may not have thickened up quite as much. Um, and believe me, it's not due to it. It's due to me, you know, with the splitting and then putting in water, uh, it was hard to estimate exactly what it needed to be. Okay, so this one, this one looks good. The noodles are, are like a rotini noodle, so they're spiral. Uh, the meat is in big chunks, and then there are some pretty good sized chunks of mushroom as well. So I'm gonna get a bite that kind of has a little of everything. A lot, a lot more sauce with this one. That one, the sauce very much got soaked up into it. This one, the sauce is pretty much present everywhere. This is very rich. What I disliked about that one is a star of this one. Th these meat pieces taste like, taste and feel. They have the texture of like a very tender piece of steak. They have fully, fully rehydrated. There is nothing slightly spongy or anything about them. It's like a small piece of steak. Noodles are, again, cook perfect. This one has, like with this sauce, it's like very Parmesan-y, sour creamy. It's, it's very rich and uh, tastes really good. Okay, so the last one, the outdoor pantry. 
So this one I had on the trail for the first time not that long ago. And it was one that it took me a few bites before I kind of knew whether I liked it or not. But let's get this one on the plate. And again, not not super thick and it definitely could be could be due to my mixing skills and my ratios. All right, so just sitting here, I haven't tried it yet, but looking at the three of these, there's a reason this one has a higher protein level. I mean, it is very, very full of meat. There's a lot of meat in here. The sauce is very thin and and more, more runny, and that may be due to me, but it was like that when I cooked it on the trail as well. It was a very thin sauce, whereas this one's a little bit thicker, and this one, the sauce is pretty much just part of it. Let's give it a try. So they're all very, very different. I mean, they are extremely different, about as different as you can get. But for this one, it's got uh, egg noodles that are are much thicker than the noodles in the Mountain House. Good consistency. The meat tastes like hamburger. Exact consistency of if you would have made a hamburger in a skillet on your stovetop. Exactly the same. Um, the sauce. Let's let's talk about the sauce real quick. It has a little bit of Worcestershire to it, but I wish it was a little bit. I wish it was a little bit thicker and maybe a little bit more pronounced. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of watery, and and maybe that's again maybe that's me. I'm gonna go back through, have a couple bites of each of them. And this is my dinner tonight, so. And then you go to the peak, which is an explosion of flavors in your mouth. This one with that like sour creamy, Parmesan, garlicky, definitely garlic. Real strong garlic as well. It just, it comes through so good. And the, the steak pieces that are in there are just, they're great. I mean, they really, mm. So of the three of them, I have the least amount of complaints about this one. This one, I think with a little bit more flavor, maybe some seasonings, maybe throwing some salt in with it would make it uh, a little bit better. And while this one is good, it's just not quite at the same level of, of these two. And, you know, I, I have bashed Mountain House over the years because I don't really like their stuff. If they would fix their meat, this one would be, this one would be really good. I mean, it, it's good. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not, it's something that I will take. I will take backpacking with me when I want to. But that consistency of that meat, Compared with just these two, I mean, the richness of flavors over here just kills kills being able to to really get anything good out of these ones. It's really close between these two, between the mountain house and the outdoor pantry. It's pretty close, but me with the amount of calories that I want and the amount of protein that I want on the trail, 
Outdoor Pantry is going to win out. Of all of them, uh, none of them come close in flavor to the peak. That is outstanding and something that at the end of the day on the trail would be, it'd be good. It'd be really good. All right, so that's the, uh, that's the order. Peak Refuel, Outdoor Pantry, and a very close third. I mean, these two, given the day, probably could swap back and forth. If, if they could just figure out how to make their meat, It's more like meat. Yeah, I mean, that's, there's a big difference. If you were here, I mean, just looking at them, you can see a difference. Like this one, this one just looks like a little ball. Whereas, let me get one of these on here. This looks like exactly like what hamburger coming out of your skillet would look like. So a little bit more seasoning, this one jumps ahead. Or if they were to fix their meat and make their meat taste better and rehydrate better, it jumps ahead. But even with those, they're not catching this one. So that's what it is, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there are any foods that you wanna see me try out, put head to head with something else, and see what comes out on top. I, I'll be honest, I was very pleasantly surprised with the mountain house. With all the bashing I do of it, this one's actually not bad. So all of you out there who suggested the mountain house beef stroganoff, you definitely chose the right one. Uh, if there are other mountain house meals that I need to try because they are decent, and don't tell me the mac. That chili mac and cheese is, is absolutely horrible. Or chili mac, whatever it is, that one's horrible. Don't tell me that. Uh, but if there's another one I need to try, and not biscuits and gravy, I don't like biscuits and gravy, period. You could make the best biscuits and gravy in the world at home. I don't like it. All right, let me know what you got. I will give it a try. Appreciate you guys checking this out. Leave a comment, question down below. Hit that subscribe button. Go visit the Patreon page. I will see you guys down the trail. All right, so as I've eaten some more of each of these, I, I, I know I said I was done. I know I already said goodbye but it had to be done. So as I try this one, this one is your favorite restaurant. This is the one you go to the restaurant, you go to, you know, whatever, Cheesecake Factory, wherever it is that you go, some Italian restaurant that has a, a certain pasta meal that you like, but you get the same thing every time and it's really good. And that's that. This one, the Mountain House, is the it's the buffet. I know that's gonna piss people off, but it's it's the buffet one. It's the, you know, you scooped it out of a big vat and you're gonna eat it, it'll be good, but it's nothing to write home about. And this one, even look at it. I mean, this one, this is your homemade one. This is the one that you made at home and, you know, you screwed something up, you forgot to add flour, you did something and it's a little bit runny. But look at it, it looks like a homemade meal. So that's what it is. Restaurant, buffet, homemade. Nailed it.